Hello, in this video, I would like to show you our newest ETP tester called Airways T05, which is uh, dash 4, V4, which is version 4. It's a newer version. We um, This one, Airways T05 dash V4, is including two LD, I mean, two uh, wire harness to test those EDP screens, uh, which is a 30 pin and 40 pins, and also including one of the uh, AC DC adapters so you can plug it in uh, here. So we have a completely redesigned the layout of a uh, AOST05 version 4. As you can see, compared with the old one, the, we have we arrange a button. The button is much bigger. And it's much easier to manipulate. And then we remove our uh, output wire from here to here on the top. So we also add A2. A2. This one is actually is for at the new feature. You can adjust the LED output current on the A2. So A2 is here, so in case you need to adjust, um, you know, connect AD, uh, LED supply here and connect to uh, your external LED driver, then we can actually adjust a, the output current. So S1, S2 is adjusting the resolution chart. The chart was right here on the bottom, a piece of paper. You see this? Okay. So uh, it's same as the old one. But the button is different. Instead of this side, it's going to be all, all together. And S1, S2 is adjusting the uh, S1. Uh, you're going to show you later. So adjusting the resolutions. And S5 is just an output current. By default, it's set to uh, 120 millimeter per channels. But most likely, you may not need to use this one anyway. Which is, if you want to change a B plus voltage wire, just turn, push the red button. Turn it off, push down the five, S5 button for 5 seconds, it will change. So let's take a look. Uh, I have a couple of screens here. It's fairly easy to, 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 to test it. Um, so, I mean, this is for the in A2 is for in uh, LED output, but probably not, you don't use, usually you will use this one. A3, which, which is uh, to fire the regular, you know, LED driver or, or, or inverter. Um, so, it's uh, this one is 30 pin. So the white dot here, very simple. And then you connect, because this one has a uh, uh, 1360 by 766. So if you look at this chart here, it start with a five, five, six, seven, five, six, both, I mean four, five, six, both. The reason we have different uh, number because uh, input level the voltage might might not be the same. In, it depends on the screen. So you can if the zero four doesn't work, and then zero five should work. If show five won't work, zero six. So anyway, we could uh, just kind of the child walk to it. You see? Okay, kind of child walk. Okay. Now, so you see this S one is changing the the first digit. Because we go to O4, so O, okay. The second S2 is changed the second digit because so many different, uh, I mean, uh, uh, resolution patterns. So let's go by four. After that, you push a red button to turn this thing off, and then you're going to see the power button will come up. Yep. So ready to test. So you see this? So you press either up or down button to change the test pattern, the color pattern. You see this? Okay, so if you want to change the B plus, you shut off, make sure this is not on, and then you press S5 for 5 seconds. Okay, another 5 seconds, it will go to 12 volts. Okay, so when you disconnect power, we connect back, it will automatically reset set back to a default, the 3.4, that's really useful. And to change the current, you see this, 1, 2 means 120 uh, amp. So you can just either this one on or off. That's okay. You can adjust S5, but it's always off to change current. This is 140, 160, 180, uh, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280. It's uh, 300. After 300, you can go back to like 80, 80 amperi per strain so but this is just to show you and then also we could test the 4k I have a 4k uh, here 
All right, screen here, and uh, here we go. I have 4K screen. Um, I have a cable. Where's the other cable? Oh, right here. This is the cable, the 40 pin cable. Okay. Same thing, white button here. This one you connect to this A3. You see this? Oops. Start off for A3. Okay. So if you look at this, uh, it's actually start with 50. Start with fit, uh, 51 is 330A40 by 2160. There's few different ones. So we start with 51. So you're going to connect here. It's not on yet. So then. Okay, we're going to do a 50. So first we had to adjust the uh, S1 to 5. So this one to 51. Then you push your web button to fire up. Now it's on. Okay, now see that? So you can either press page up and down button to change a uh, test pattern. Or if you want to, you can press auto. It will change it by itself automatically every few seconds. See that? So anyway, um, this is it. This is the new version, LSTO5 version 4. Thank you for watching.